Alright, crosshair is on target and firing, and why are my bullets not going where my crosshair is? Yeah, we'll get into that. What's up guys, it's Mark, and today's video is going to be an aim guide in Valorant. Let's get right into it. So to start off, Valorant is very, very much a crosshair placement headshot game. We have been trained for the last couple years playing battle royale games to walk around like this, staring at the ground, looking for any items there are. Now if we're playing Valorant and we're doing this, we're looking at the ground, somebody's right here, we turn, they see us, we have to bring our mouse over and up in order to shoot them in the head. Now when you play Valorant, you do not want to do that. You want your crosshair at head level wherever you are all the time. If you think somebody's going to be at this corner over here, you want your crosshair head level. If it's at stomach level, you're going to get two, three shots on them and you're going to die because you know what? They're aiming at your head. You always want your crosshair head level. Guns like the Vandal, one shot headshot, no matter if they have armor, no armor, anything like that. One tap, boop, right in the head, they're dead. It does not matter what armor they have on, they will go down in one headshot. Now if you spray them four times in the body, then they don't die. One shot in the head, dead. Four times in the body, not dead. So it's very, very important to get out of the habit of looking down on the ground and get your crosshair up. That is the number one change you can make to improve your aim and Valorant hands down. Also, different guns have different recoil patterns. We have the Vandal right now out. As we shoot the Vandal, we'll hold the trigger down. The gun goes up and then repeatedly goes left, right, left, right. We start here. It immediately goes up, left, right, immediately goes up, left, right, left, right. So what we need to do to combat this recoil is one, fire in short bursts. Two rounds, three rounds, two rounds, three rounds. We can fire in short bursts. You can single tap, 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 tap. It'll always go where your crosshair goes. If you burst or tap, your bullets will always go where your crosshair goes. Where you run into issues is if you fire more than three or four rounds at once, now my bullets are going up. They're going out of where my crosshair is and I'm not going to be able to aim on people's heads. If I'm aimed at a head right here and I miss my shot a little bit to the left and I try to adjust by holding the trigger down, now my bullets are going everywhere. It needs to be short controlled bursts no matter where you are and where you're aimed. As soon as you hold it down for more than a couple bullets, you're all over the place. Now another way we can combat recoil is to just pull the mouse down. So after a couple rounds, if we pull down, I still have a pretty good group here. So even if we're going six, seven bullets, we pull down too early, we make a line. We have to wait for that sweet spot after we fire out those first three bullets, one to three, pull down, one to three, pull down, one to three, pull down, and we have these really tight groupings that even if you do fire six or seven rounds at a time, as long as you pull down to get that instant recoil out of the way, we have pretty good shots. Doesn't matter how many bullets we fire, if we counter that recoil, we have real, real good recoil control and our aim is right on our crosshair. Now a final tip for combating that recoil is you can actually crouch. We fire those three or four bullets and then we crouch those remaining bullets go in the exact same spot. I'm not holding, I'm not pulling my mouse down whatsoever. All I'm doing is crouching after the third or fourth bullet. And we're getting these real tight groupings. So if you don't want to pull your mouse manually down, crouch, spray, crouch, spray, crouch, spray, crouch, and these will give you real tight groupings and you'll be able to stay on people's heads. Another big part of Valorant is not moving while you're shooting. If we come to these walls still, and we do these short bursts, the bullets are still, even after three or four bursts, if I'm moving left and right, these bullets are going everywhere. So we stand still, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We move, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. They are all over the place. They're not gonna follow where our crosshair is. So when you shoot in Valorant, if you're coming around a corner and you see somebody, do not keep going around the corner shooting. So we wanna shoot this target right here. Peek, stop bullets. Want to get this target right here? Peek, stop, bullets. If we peek here and we're trying to hit up here and we continue moving, we're not hitting anything. We're missing most of our bullets. If we come out, stop, shoot, come out, stop, shoot, 
we will have a lot better accuracy because your aim is right where your crosshair is if you stop shooting and you don't fire fully automatic. Let's get to this guy here. This is how we started the video, right? We start bullets right on top of him. Now our bullets are everywhere. They're not even going anywhere near him. So to shoot him, short burst, pull the trigger down. Short burst, pull the mouse down. Short burst, crouch. Short burst, crouch. And as long as we're staying still, these shots are gonna hit every single time. Three or four bullets at a time, three or four bullets at a time. They're going to hit every time. If we're moving, we're gonna hit one every three shots. So make sure when you get in gunfights, you stay still, you can do your crouch and get your shots on target before the enemy gets you. Now the final tip I wanna talk about in the aim guide is peaking angles. If you think somebody is down a hallway, you don't wanna come over here walk into the middle of the hallway, turn, and look for them where you think they're going to be. If you think they're down that hallway, you want your crosshair at head level, and you want to peek with your crosshair as close to the edge as you can get. So if you see them, shot dead, shot dead. If you come swing way out, now your entire body is exposed, and they see all of you and can kill you extremely easily, and you have a harder time hitting them. Where if you come around and keep your crosshair close, and you see him, let's get this robot for example. We'll peek, 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 shoot, peek, shoot. So we know where they are and they can't see us the whole time. Peeking is extremely important in Valorant. If you are just running around and you are jumping through hallways like it's Call of Duty, you will get shot immediately, you will die, you make too much noise, way too much noise running around. And if you're not checking your corners and peeking your angles correctly, you're gonna lose nine out of 10 gunfights. So slow it down. Peek your corners, keep your crosshair at eye level, and you will win a lot more gunfights. All right, guys, I didn't want to spend too much time on this. I wanted to give you the beginner basics for Valorant in terms of aiming. Now, if you've played Counter-Strike in the past, you do know what you're doing here. It's very much the same mechanics. The bullets do not always go where the crosshair goes, so you kind of have a base ground to grow upon. But if you are new to Valorant Counter-Strike, you're coming from a different game, it is very different to get into, and it's just practice, practice, practice. So the more you practice, the better you'll get with your recoil control, the better you'll get with crosshair placement, and the better player you'll become. Now thank you guys for watching, I have a ton of Valorant guides, how-to videos, clips on my channel, so if you do like these, go ahead and sub up so you don't miss any future content. I also stream on Twitch Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturday nights at 8.30, so if you want to see me playing Valorant live, make sure you follow on Twitch, come in the chat, say hello, I appreciate you guys watching, let me know in the comments if this video helped you out, if there are any tips in here that you didn't know about, if you're a beginner, I think these are very simple steps that you can take to improve your aim in Valorant. Thanks for watching guys, and as always, stay active.